Hey, this is Yogesh Reddy from AHA 2014. I'm here with Dr. Mori, who was the PI for the DAP trial, and um, she's going to give us the scoop on this trial. Um, Dr. Mori, if you don't mind telling us, what were the aims and design of the trial? Sure. Well, the study was designed in order to see how patients with coronary stents should be treated um, beyond one year, especially because we knew that there's some risk of stent thrombosis and, more importantly, a risk of a recurrent myocardial infarction in the late future. Excellent. And um, what were the results of the trial? What did you find? So we enrolled 26,000 patients worldwide, and we randomized patients both with drug looting stents and bare metal stents to either um, continued thionopyridine plus aspirin uh, versus aspirin alone. And the drugs that could have been used were clopidogrel or prasugrel, and the, there were multiple different stent types, including 50% um, of the stents, uh, drug looting stents, were everolimus looting stents, so modern day stents, so very relevant to current practice. Um, and what we found was that in the patients who continued thionopyridine beyond one year, out to 30 months, that there was a very significant reduction in stent thrombosis, but more importantly, in myocardial infarction. So the rate of myocardial infarction was cut in half, um, and stent thrombosis was reduced to one-third of what it would have been without that one, in the patients that were on placebo. So... Um you know, we have a lot of trials now telling us about the data with six months, 12 months, and now this trial with uh, extended follow-up of 30 months. So which patients do you think for the fellows in training, uh, who needs to be treated for six months, who needs to be treated for 12, and who needs to be treated for longer? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, um, you know, there is a lot of information about both these drugs and stents over the long term. Um, there are patients that couldn't be enrolled in our trial because they had either had a heart attack um, during the first 12 months, um, uh, you know, after their stent procedure, and then they need to restart the clock and take dual antiplatelet therapy, or others who had major bleeding and, and we didn't feel comfortable randomizing into the trial. So those sorts of patients, um, I think, you know, you see how they're doing, and if they, can, if, they, if they can't take it because they've had major problems with the drug, then obviously they're, they're out. So, uh, but what we found was that in those patients who hadn't had major bleeding or a, a major event within the first year, um, that even though there is a bleeding risk that's, that's ongoing, that that's probably counterbalanced by the benefits because the benefits were so profound. There's a 2% absolute percentage point reduction in MI just over 18 months. And so that's, that's even stronger than many of our secondary prevention um, trials um, looking at you know, statins and other things. So I think that um, this is just a new, new way of looking at secondary prevention. Thank you so much. So for further videos from AHA 2014, please log on to youtube.com forward slash fits on the go.